Hey, what's going on? It's Joey from the Hitting Performance Lab. All right, Mr. Charles, I synced up your swing with Anthony's, Anthony's latest swing. And I want you to pay attention to something real close. We're going to go right into it, right into the slow-mo. I was actually going to do your swing, your baseball swing, and your kettlebell swing together. But I thought it would be good and helpful to watch, compare your swing to another hitter who, who has a little bit more of a quiet swing into the contact, a little bit more consistent. Okay, so we're going to start. Both of you have different forward mo momentum. Anthony's more of a slide stepper. But what you're going to see is what I want you to pay attention to is I like your bat angle the way it is right here. But what you're going to see is that angle, that bat angle is going to flatten out. And I think that's what's really causing that front arm to take over and arm bar. And as you'll see, Anthony's bat, his barrel stays basically quiet. He's never really had a very loud barrel, even in high school. And I've been working with him forever. But he's always, and he's always been pretty consistent with his swings. I mean, we've had to tweak things here and there. But the upper half is really killing us right now on consistency. And as you'll see, there's a lot of bat movement. Can you see that? See, watch your barrel. See how it flattens out? Hey, we want to, I, I love the, your angle when you start. That's a beautiful angle. And I think that's going to help you to launch better and not get into that arm bar. If we can keep that angle the same the whole time. But we're doing a lot, we're doing a lot of movement. It's going to feel weird this week for you to try and really keep that bat still and not do much but Anthony does a lot with a little movement and as you see it's a much more consistent spot to launch from every single time and Anthony has he is such a great turner he turns very well the one thing we're working on obviously here is this little tension in the, in the back shoulder you it's more your front shoulder in the beginning but he, he turns super great. He has a great turn. He just, like I said, holds a little tension later in the swing, causes him to roll over a little bit like he did on this ball. But he, up, up to his launch, everything after he launches is beautiful. It's nice and quiet. And then when foot, front, foot hits the, front heel hits the ground, everything starts to go. He turns beautifully. I mean, you can compare him to a lot of the elite hitters in the game. And he's going to be up there in almost the similar. I mean, this is a, this is the human movement law. One of them, and, and when it comes to hitting, is being in this in this position here, as we're turning, being nice and tight with our turn. So I just see that barrel is creating a lot of havoc when it flattens out like that. You see that really just flattens. It's like it flattens, and then that top hand has no control over anything, and then the, the bottom hand just takes over. And starts to pull and lengthen out. You see how even if you look at Anthony's hands too, and how if they get away from the body, they they basically fall with his body, okay? And they don't go his his front or bottom hand doesn't start to extend away at the end. Maybe a little bit there, but not much. Maybe the elbow. If you watch the elbow, watch Anthony's elbow here. You'll see it move back a little bit. But he's moving back with his back elbow because he's showing his back to the pitcher like we talk about, show the numbers. So his elbow moves a little bit like extending, but it doesn't extend, extend. Well, if you watch you, watch your swing now, we have a great angle here. And then as, for some reason, as we start to land, that barrel just starts dropping. See that? That's not even... even it might be from the, but we're not really even pushing that bat forward. I guess we are a little bit. If you watch that little there and then back, how we're, how we're tossing that barrel towards the opposite hitter's box, kind of like Josh Hamilton. What that's doing is it's creating an, uh, a reactive counter, counter punch the opposite direction, which is not the direction we want that bat to go. We don't want it to go flat and behind us. We want it to go this way in our Nike swoosh sign, that path. So I just think that 
if we can stick with this angle, with your angle with your bat, that's a beautiful angle right there. You almost look like Sadahara O, oh, the Japanese home run leader, right there in, in that swing. If you can keep your barrel there without letting it flatten out, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot better things more consistently. And as you can see that front arm bars out. I know it's hard to see with all the netting because there was like two two things in netting there. But and then nice bright sunny day, sunny morning that day. But you can see the arm bars out here. That's flat. You can see with Anthony, his bat has a nice angle to it. He could even be up a little higher with the angle, but he's he's about right there where you need to be. And you can see that the bat just wraps around behind your back shoulder, which causes that front arm to try and pull it out away and then go forward because of that that's a compensation that that front arm's doing because it's because your bat's flattening out back there you get me you kind of you follow me a little bit where the bat's disappearing behind your back shoulder where if you look at Anthony in the same frame because I've synced you guys the swings up see how much easier that bat's going to be to come around Anthony doesn't have to straighten out this arm to pull out the reason why your tricep is extending your arm is to pull this your hands out a little bit so that it can actually get the barrel into the zone here that's why it's straightening out. See, Anthony doesn't have to do that because his bat isn't it could be disappearing behind his back shoulder or even his back shoulder blade. That's kind of that's kind of where you're at. So I wanted to spend some time on that today and show you that. See that? See how it's just really wrapped around you, and you're really that front arm is really having a fight to. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's way behind us. Okay, and it's straightening out. You can see it straight there, straight there, straight there. It's just trying to compensate. It's a compensation for that barrel. I think if we can be consistent this week, work the mirror, work a mirror a lot, or a picture window, and just see that see that barrel stay in that position. I don't want it to get any lower than that. Keep it in that position, or even slightly where you got Anthony's. That's the lowest you can go, is right there. But if I think if you can do that, we can allow. See how you're even your elbows because of that. Your elbows are starting to come together soon like your elbows are coming close together to help both arms are trying to help to get that those hands out and away so we can get the barrel in the zone whereas Anthony's elbows stay basically the same distance they don't have to come together because they aren't having to worry about get that bat out from behind you like you're trying to pull a sword out of your out of your your deal in the back your sheath but anyway dude work on that if you got any questions let me know but I think that's going to help a lot work hard brother